Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck and today we're back in Osiris New Dawn, a game by Phoenix Fire and they have done so much to the game since we played last and I want to definitely go ahead and show that to you. So let's go ahead and start a new game. First off, we have all four classes in the game now. We have Scientist, Ranger, and the Marine and Engineer. We only used to have the Scientist and Ranger. Ranger used to be stronger would be able to carry more than the scientists. They've changed that because now you get stat points that you put in uh, at the beginning. The other thing that they've changed is that there is a skill tree now that requires you to put points in as soon as you start the game. So that is what you're seeing above everyone's head. The scientist, of course, gets more science skill. Uh, the ranger is even across the board. Marine is combat and the engineer is engineer. So this has uh, really changed the game. The only other difference between these characters are what their starting tools are. Uh, as you'll see, uh, the Marines, of course, they're going to start with guns uh, and a tactical knife, where the Ranger is going to start with a long-range rifle and a machete and so on. Now, if you're starting the game brand new, I would suggest making the scientist. Because science skill is not easy to get starting off. Once you get into the game a little bit more, it finally gets a little bit easier. But I would definitely go ahead and go with the scientist. That said, I'm going to go with the ranger. Just because I feel that it is uh, the better way for me to start. Especially for doing survival and the ability to show you everything in the game. So let's go ahead and get started. As far as colors go, I'm going to go with a gray, I guess, something a little bit darker there. And then we'll go with, I guess, a whitish color there. The glow, I really don't care. I guess we'll go white and uh, continue on. Also, they allow you to customize your character. You can make them really tall or really short, rather, with a really big head. <laughs> I think that's kind of fun. Uh, but I'm just going to go with the base just so that we can get into the game a little bit faster. Uh, the skill tree is going to take a little bit more um, talking about, so I want to get to that as soon as possible. As far as starting off, I'm going to put five points into strength, put two points into stamina, two points into health, and one point into speed. Speed is going to be helpful later on for certain animals that you're fighting or certain mobs that you're fighting. Strength, though, for me, the reason I'm putting those points in is because I don't plan to hunker down or make a base right off the bat. I'm going to find a good place where everything is easy to get to uh, via walking until I'm able to make vehicles. So that is the reason I'm going with that. All right, so here is the skill tree. So big, so many things. What they did is they pretty much made everything a part of the skill tree now. And that is because, like the chisel here, this is something that used to be unbreakable. It now decays as you use it. So we're going to put a point into all three of these because these are the starters. That's what gets you into the tree. Um, so if you've never played the game before and you didn't know what you were looking for or what to do, this might be where you would mess up. Um, and that is because... You need to make the forge as soon as possible. It allows you to make tools. It allows you to make a shovel so that you can uh, make glass. And glass is required to make these tools here, which is the 3D printer and the chem station. So forge is definitely going to be what we're going to go for. Um, the other things that you need are you need a solar panel to be able to get these. And while I want to put points in those next, I want to get to the beacon. And the reason that is, is because as soon as we have the ability to make the beacon, which we can't make until these two, um, I want to start putting beacons down. So I'm pretty much uh, forcing the beacon to be ready for whenever I get to the point where I can make it. Uh, I mean, it doesn't. it's not required, but it's going to take a while before we make a printer anyway. Well, we might do it in this video, but um, <laughs> anyway, you cannot make the forge unless you come down here and you get the furnace. The furnace is what allows you to take uh, raw or enter it into refined ingots. 
So that is a must have. If you don't have that, I don't believe there's a stone uh, furnace in the game anymore. So you would pretty much be stuck having to grind out with the tools that you have available to be able to try to get to make that. The rest of the points I'll put in here, I'm going to go melee because the guns are too expensive. The ammo is. So uh, that's where I'm going. I'm going to go towards the machete and I'll probably stop here at the tactical knife before I start going the gun route. All right. So over here in the engineering, we're going to go with a shovel because we need to make glass. We're going to make a depository so that we have a place to put our stuff and Here's my thinking, or here's where I'm going with this. So, we want to be able to make a habitat as soon as possible. And we want to have a lab as soon as possible. But before we do that, uh, because the lab is what allows us to make the vehicles, I want to go this route to get the large gas depot. This, is a this allows us to put fuel that we make from uh, gases into it. And... Vehicles now run off of fuel. So if we have one of these, you just drive up with your vehicle. It automatically fuels it and you go on. So that's why I want to have this before that. Before we even go to the habitat, I want to go over here to get the bed so that I can save inside of the habitat. So, I mean, the habitat will be a little bit, but we will get to that point in this video to be able to make these, to be honest. So let's go ahead and continue. I'd name them Cypher without caps. Confirm. And let's go ahead and go. Okay. Uh, find patch tape to fix broken suit. Um, okay, there's bandages. Patch tape. Um, number three. Grab that, number four. Press F to exit the pod. Press six to break the door. And we're out. Okay, let's just take a look at what's going on through the storm. There's a pod there. I think we can break this down. This is something that's new. Um, the space debris. So we'll grab this stuff. And it's giving us really nice items like uh, steel, rubber. That's, I mean, that would be a little bit harder to get, I would think. Okay, more space debris. Just making sure I'm getting everything that's on the ground. Grab that. Food. Uh, whatever that is, that's new. Okay. A lot of things just clustered together. Sounds like the storm is gone. Did I miss anything over here? Yep. Bandage. Gases. All right, well, we need to head towards that. That is where um, the cave is. So that we can uh, get like diamond and plutonium and lithium. A lot of stuff. Man, barrels. So we can actually pick up some of those gases as we walk by them. That's kind of awesome. Okay. Is that, is that a thing? Yep. Nice. Okay, that's all of that one. Man, they give us a lot of resources to start with. Wire, rubber. Man, that's nice. 
Can I get it? Really? Okay, I think that's everything. I think that's all of it. Okay, cool. So we're gonna head this way <clears throat> to towards that tower. So, like I said before, the first thing that we need to make is a forge. Uh, if I remember correctly, the three items you need are iron, titanium, and plutonium. Uh, the base m materials, or the base uh, ore, it has a chance of dropping plutonium. But we have a really easy way to get it by just going over to the mine. The other thing you can get at the mine is diamond. Uh, so it's another good reason to go that way. And they added a thing where you can use plants now for making bandages, I think, and also tape. We'll have to take a look at that. Man, this is a really rich area. Um, so one thing I wanted to show you is that they also changed this. Um, they went ahead and added it so that they mark what kind of ores are available. The blue is going to be your base. Red is going to be the uh, precious. So that's kind of awesome that they went ahead and added that. That is going to cut down a whole lot of time. Okay, we need to fix this. This is, this is not how I work. <laughs> Let's grab those off of there. Move that to there. Put that there and put water there. All right. Let's go ahead and start mining. Now we need to be cautious of the amount of chisel we're using. Uh, we need to get only what we need until we get to the point where we can make the what though. I know it's coming from somewhere. Holy cow, look at how far the way that thing is. How do you even jump that far, guy? I don't think that was there before, was it? Okay, aluminum over here. Don't need it. We need the iron from these and plutonium. Come on, plutonium. Um, I think I have enough iron. I kind of want to have a stack of iron. Just because iron is going to be used in a lot of things, making steel plates, that kind of stuff. I'm not really worried about the plutonium right now. Okay, let's go ahead and... I'm down for a fight. Where are you at? Hey, snub! Hey, buddy! Thanks, guy. Thanks for that experience. <laughs> All right, what are we looking at here? We still going this direction. Okay, I'm not seeing any precious. It's okay. Not really worried about it too much. Titanium is just going to be one of those things we have to go and find. Yeah, it's all blue. All right, how many of these? We got two of them. I think I want to fill two of these with hydrogen. And the reason I'm going to do that is because if we can find another one, we need to just get oxygen because <laughs> as water is, H2 uh, plus O equals uh, water. So if we can just get one more of these barrels, we'd be able to have uh, enough for at least one container of water, which <laughs> it seems like that's a lot to make water. We only have one wire. We have 20 rubber. That is amazing. Uh, though at some point we're going to have to head towards the rubber tree. By the way, this gives us science. Um, very good way to level your science. You just empty it out and reuse it. All right. Let's continue going. Guess over this way. Just keep checking. All, all blue. <laughs> all blue. 
All right, let's go ahead and start mining some of this. I don't think titanium is really going to be an issue. Uh, there's a lot of titanium around. There's actually, if I, if I know where I am, in that direction is the forest that leads to another cave. And there is precious m materials over there. I was going to say minerals, but it's materials. And uh, so I'm not really worried so much. Another one? I would guess it's coming from this direction. Jeez, man. Oh, okay. I gotta move. <laughs> That's annoying. It's a whole lot of those things. I mean, we've only seen two, but two is a lot for just traveling the distance that we've traveled. I don't remember that being a thing. Yeah, it's still blue. All right. Any rocks? I'm not seeing rocks. Okay, let's grab... We need blue. Oh, don't hit that thing. Let's get maybe three. And three of these. Okay, how much? Okay, we have enough iron. We're good. Cool. And then let's go ahead and get this banana leaf over here. Hopefully we'll hit it with a critical and get a chance to get bananas. Because all these give our banana leaves. Nope, no critical. So, there's a lot of those worms now. Um... Hope it's not a common occurrence to run in those. Okay. Come on. All right, good. There's rocks here. Grab two of them. I think that'll be fine. So the reason I'm grabbing rocks is because in case our chisel breaks, we'll have the ability to still use tools, stone tools, to um, harvest rocks and such. I wonder if they ever added anything to these. I mean, that would be kind of awesome if they finally did. Okay, they did. What is this? Cloth bundle. Man-made cloth. It's heavy. 0.25 for each. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the tape though. What else do they have? What? <laughs> what? It's diamond right there. Lithium and plutonium. What? It's like all that. I'm I'm confused. Why? Oh my goodness! What iron? Steel? Tick. Take that! I feel I feel like a kid in a candy store. That is I feel that's too much. It's too much starting out. I I already over encumbered and let's not do any more of that. Oh my goodness. Only gonna get like diamond or stuff like that if there's any more in here. It's like that. That's nuts. That's really not required, I feel. All right. So let's go ahead and go up here, grab some plutonium, hopefully diamond, hopefully lithium. And uh, while we're doing that, while we're inside, I'm going to set up a furnace to go ahead and melt down the stuff that we do have. Though that'll make us probably carry more. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and select this furnace. Okay. There we go. And we'll do aluminum. Alright. Good to go. Let that run while we go in here. 
So one of the things I would probably suggest is that since combat is one of those um, harder abilities to skill up because you need to be in combat a lot to be able to get the skill up, you could actually use this place as a mob grinder because as soon as you go out and come back in, it completely resets. That also means that you could get um, ammunition if you wanted to. I'm not going to get it because I'm never going to make that gun. Uh, and you could also get medical supplies. So let's go ahead and take this. I'm going to sort everything out. And I'm going to put these bandages on here. Probably take this out. How are we doing on food and drink? We're good there. Um, still can't believe the diamond situation. That's pretty sick. Let's go ahead and put this on there. We'll, ch we'll check it out at least. So we'll put on our light. And just see what kind of materials and stuff we can get into. That is kind of a bluish green. So I'm going to say without no, I think that's lithium. Just because of the glow. Yeah. Nice. Hey, snub. How you doing? Okay. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on up. So, yeah, you can just do that. Hunt these guys. Keep coming back in and whatnot. I mean... At some point, you do want to kill Queen Chloe, but I doubt that that's going to be an... Oh, what is that? It's copper. Yeah, I don't need copper right now. And just keep coming back in and killing those. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll check this out. So it's 12 rounds. It's a long-range shooter. That is more... No, no, that's plutonium. You can tell because it's dull. The, the green color is dull. So that's really all the plutonium that we need right there. Okay. Not seeing anything in here. Alright. You know what? I'm going to leave this for right now. I'm going to turn my light off. And creep a little bit. Wish there was a way that I could actually turn off run. Oh. Maybe if I tap my way. Is this a thing? So, also, they changed the look of Diamond. I don't know if there's going to be any in here. But they changed... Oh, uh, she's up. Okay. No reason to stand around anymore. Hey, buddy. Uh, no Diamond in here. But they changed the look. It's kind of a... Oh, <laughs> they changed from that. Hey, Snub. Nicely done. snub alicious. Okay, let's go ahead and, okay, we can't critical, oh, hey, more snubs, nice, give me, come on, snub, now let's turn on our light, now that, yeah, that's, that's not good, Hey. Come on, Snub. I like that she's only spawning Snubs. I mean, if she can only small uh, spawn Snubs from now on, that'd be amazing. There you are. I hate these things. Uh, 
Where am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Come on. That one's dead. Come on, get stuck in a corner here. Okay, there's that. We only have a few more bandages. Okay, that's a dead one. Nice. Wonder where her weakness is. Seek medical assistance immediately. Not seeing what hit me. Hit some kind of critical. All right, let's go check her health. Queen Chloe's health is so, okay, it's still a lot to go. All right, I think we got what we needed. We got the points that I was looking for. <laughs> and we also got the, um, there we go. Feels good. good. Got to check out the gun. Don't like it very much. Maybe uh, the different kinds of ammo that you can make are going to make it better. But um, let's go ahead and get out and refine the plutonium and start heading to look for titanium. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Kind of glad that we got what we got i mean we have t we have diamonds already i mean that's a that's a thing we have lithium don't know how much of that we're gonna actually need to use right off the bat though okay so let's grab the resources that we uh we went ahead and made really <laughs> did it not work while we were gone hmm let's go ahead and sort again why would these two not be next to each other? I mean, come on, OCD. All right, so what is, what's this? This is an oxygen tank, tank filled with oxygen that can be plugged in to... I guess these aren't working yet. So, uh, yeah. So this is something that's I guess is going to be coming soon the whole thing because I'm seeing here that there might be a hover fuel cell or something like that that you have to replace that sucks so much if you had to do that. Also the H2O maybe it'll automatically feed yourself water whenever you need it. Uh, H2O whenever you're spurning and you're running low I guess if you have H2O bottles it'll refuel your oxygen. No clue what that is, um, but yeah, cool things. I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing what all this is about, if you'll be able to do a, some kind of specialization. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put that in there. That's going to be more than enough. I mean, we already have more than, than we need for plutonium. All right, let's go ahead and take that. We'll go ahead... Tell that to stop. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, put this in. You know, we use this a lot, and it barely even um, barely even hurt the thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, T to destroy. Yep. 
Let's go ahead and see how many points we have now. So we have 14 points in combat. That's kind of awesome. Let's go ahead and put those points in. Boom. So we got what we needed. Um, we also got engineering because, again, mining and all that. Go ahead and put those points in. And uh, that's all we can do right now. So we're almost to this point. And then once we can do that, like I said, go to there, get the storage, and then we'll make our habitat. But, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start traveling to a point where I feel it would be a good home. Also, hopefully, when we get there, we'll be able to get titanium and everything else that we're going to need. So I shall return. Okay, so I've been traveling for a while. I finally found a place to set up a uh, base. And I'm just gathering some resources. I just saw something in the distance. I want to go check it out. Um, that. Uh, it's like a green shiny thing. And it is weird. It looks kind of like lithium or, or maybe plutonium, but... I, I mean, is that, what is it? There's more than one. Is that lithium? That's lithium. Out in the open. Wait a minute. Ooh, nice. This is a snug hive, too. That means I can har um, farm combat by just constantly spawning snubs but that is gold holy cow i found i found the place that's that's gold that looks like um okay that's precious lithium what are all what's this crab shell uh sheddings what what oh hello hi snub I didn't really bring any um, healing resources because I didn't know I was going to find this. Where'd he go? Hey, buddy. Okay. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I mean, I should have probably brought some stuff to be able to heal more. But I know where this is now. And that is amazing. Lithium just right out in the middle of nowhere. Hi, Snub. Okay. So, yeah, we can farm combat. Whoa, hello. They put themselves in these, like, black clouds of, of dust. Don't like that. But we have some crap shells over here, too. Man, this is a gold mine over here. Literally, this is gold <laughs> and lithium. I mean, I wasn't expecting to find anything like this over here. Plus, we have snubs we can kill non-stop until our weapon is gone. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Okay, so we do have to worry about health some. Oh, hello. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on our lamp a little bit. Cool. Okay. Hey, snub. Buddy. Sorry I have to kill you. Um, but, oh my guess they don't stop. So, this is amazing. So... First off, this wasn't even the original reason I went ahead and made this, or stopped here. But wow, this is such a great resource. Yeah, I'm going to have to head home and get some healing supplies now. But um, So the reason I made my, my home here is, number one, you have a lot of precious resources in this area. Also, in this area where I'm actually standing, you have a ton 
of regular resources, base resources, uh, that is there. We also have carbon in this area, apparently gold and lithium. So, and then now snubs. Snubs was actually a really pleasant thing to find. Does this actually act as a healing? No, it doesn't really fix anything. But wow, that is awesome. I wasn't expecting it at all. So do we have enough to... We don't have anything to make bandages. Yes, I understand that. So let's go ahead and start grabbing some of this. Grabbing the bandage... Or the, the uh, banana plants. Grabbing some of this over here. I really can't take getting hit very much more. Okay. And grab the rest of these banana trees. So I, I set up a little home over here. Uh, not very much. It's just a nice little house place for us to be able to work. Very cool. Let's go ahead and make as many as we can. <laughs> It's so distorted. And if you look down at engineering and science, you'll see that I have a ton of points. I've been working pretty hard to get this stuff done. Let's go ahead and use as many as we have to to get completely full. Let's drink some water. And we'll go ahead and eat as well. So nice, and you'll see I went ahead and grabbed a ton of resources. I didn't even think about getting any of that gold or anything, but now that we know it's there, that's uh, going to be very helpful. So um, let me check something then with options. Let's turn that off because there's, I don't like having the smudges dirty lens. There it is. I cannot stand that. So there we go. It, it looks nice. So we're going to go ahead and save. We have our little furnace here. I don't know if we have anything in it. Going to go ahead and make all of the aluminum. Maybe, maybe a lot of it, but not all of it. Go down all the way to... Yeah, there we go. Leave two there. We'll go ahead and make iron ingots because we need to... And again, we'll just do three stacks of ore. Just so that we have some extra. And I guess one more. <laughs> um, magnesium. Again, three stacks. There we go. Boom. So I have three chests now. The miscellaneous, the refine, and ore. So let's go in here and just throw this stuff in here. And um, man, I, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so miscellaneous is where we need to go right now. See if we have any kind of bandages of any sort. We don't, uh, but we do have a med kit. We'll go ahead and throw the med kit on our, on our bar down here for now since we don't have anything else all right let's use the skill tree actually let's get out of this let me see if i have anything cooking in here nothing's cooking there so let's go ahead and put points in so we have six uh stat points i think i'm gonna go ahead and bump up speed some by three and then put one point there and I think we're good on strength for now, so we'll put one point there and there. So we're we're kind of evening up on everything else, and we'll we'll put more points in the strength, but uh, not right now. Let's go ahead and go into the skill tree, and we now have the combat knife or the tactical knife. I've, I've put some points in earlier. We can now go from there to there, and we need that. Wow. Um, 34 points. Oh. Okay. So we need to go there, there, there. 
That's awesome. So all we need to do now is go up this tree to get to the agricultural. That's going to be nice. So here, we're going to put the points there and there. We're going to go ahead and go up this tree. Oh, we're getting close. Get Oh, we need the bed and then the habitat and then we're good to go. Well, at least to make our first habitat. Um, military stats. Um, I'm going to now start putting points into guns. Just to start getting to this gun right here. So that we can make its ammo. And um, let me take a look at what kind of ammo we can make for the bolt rifle. Because um, that's all assault. And the bolt rifle is just the bolt rifle. You can't upgrade it. Uh, where for the assault you can upgrade it um, using different things. Like there's tungsten. No clue where to get that. Plus a assault rifle magazine. Let me see what the difference is. Advanced ammo magazine for the assault rifle. It is okay. That's 15 plus uh, plus or minus three with 15 uh, with five critical. That is six. So that's a huge jump, but you're lowering the critical. And then this is adding more critical because and lowering the damage again. So either higher critical, but it requires diamond. Uh, or lower critical with the higher damage output. And then this is um, just starting out at 16 damage plus or minus plus 10% uh, percent critical. This adds that. Um, wait a minute. This lower. What does this add? Durability. Oh, clip size. This adds what? 10? 10, um, 10 more rounds to that clip. And then this goes down to 10 rounds per clip. But it's 30 damage with a 10% critical. So that's not bad right there. Of course, durability consumption. I guess that's on the gun itself. How much it's going to eat on the durability of the gun. Um, yeah. This might be the happy medium because you get more ammo per um, for that clip, and then you're also eating the duration uh, durability less. So anyway, that's that. Let me see. We can now make the chem station because we're gonna need that. Um, chem station. There's the printer. That's iron and aluminum. So easy. Uh, steel and glass. We got it. We got all that. Um, sort steel and glass, aluminum, iron. Boom. Oh, uh, we also need to make one of these that requires carbon. I haven't refined any carbon. Let's see if I have a short stack. We'll take that. And we'll go ahead and refine that up. And then we only need one of these. Okay. Grab that. And we can now go ahead and put down our stuff. Wait a minute, what am I missing here? Wait a minute, okay. Thought I didn't need that stuff. So rubber, grab that. We'll put this down first. And then we'll go ahead and put down the chem station. Why isn't that letting me put it down? Of course it's going to let me put it down in a place where I don't want to put it. Are you kidding me? Am I going to have to put this down? Why? Why? Come on, man. I just want to... Okay, wait a minute. Right... Where was it? There? There? Why is it... There? 
I don't care. It's it works. <laughs> it's um, I can now go ahead and put the solar panel down, and we'll put that like right next to this. All right, so we're good. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we can make a machete. We can make another weapon. Um, the tactical knife requires plastic. Plastic. Is hi Wait, didn't I fill a thing with hydrogen? Was it in here? Oh yeah. What else do we need? Is that it? Hydrogen and carbon. Let's grab the rest of the carbon I made in here. Go ahead and make all that plastic. It's, oh my goodness. Wow, wait a minute. It's only going to give us three plastic. <laughs> oh, four. Four plastic. Okay. Take that. And we're out of that. Okay. Let's go over here. How much does this... Re okay, this requires one plastic per. So I'm going to just make one, honestly, because I don't see why I would need a second one. This one has lasted for so long. And then I can go ahead and go farm snubs to get my skill up. Um, I need to make another chisel. Which is magnesium copper I don't think I have copper do I a little bit of copper titanium what else did I need in that magnesium and I'm pretty sure I don't have magnesium come on okay I have tons of magnesium I'm to talk about make one of those there we go aluminum I have tons of aluminum let's go ahead and check in here I don't have tons of aluminum okay I can say the word correctly it's aluminum <laughs> all right let's grab all that just make it and now I'm out of aluminum okay it's almost done Okay, grab that. We'll go ahead and replace this, and we'll put this right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get some hunting done. I'm trying to okay, what do we need? We need how much points before we can actually make the thing? We need fifteen for that. Twelve. 15 Okay, I don't see why that isn't possible to be able to get this stuff made I mean we may not make it today, but at least we'll get to the point where it's done So I'm gonna go ahead and continue harvesting points skills and whatnot and uh, See how see how I do
Okay, so as you saw, we were able to get a lot of mining done, did um, some killing. Still uh, not fast enough for my liking. I guess I'm going to have to just sit down and go around and farm all of the banana leaves I can get so that I can make bandages. Because I went through three of these med packs and I don't like that. So we have some points to spend. I'm going to go ahead and put another point into speed and probably another point into stamina because they kind of correlate with each other. So science, I don't believe we could put anything in science unless... Okay, we can do that. Ooh, that'll be good because we can do bandages and whatnot because those are bandages. I don't know why I'm trying to... <laughs> okay. So anyway, we can go ahead and do combat rifle. And that's it for now. I mean, that's not anything we're going for. Trying to only get down to here. So that's all for that one. We also might want to go down this way as well. Get uh, turrets as well as walls to protect our home. Okay, so... We need to get the bed. Oh my goodness, the points... We got the habitat. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to end it here. And next time we're going to try to get or off off, uh, off the game. I'll go ahead and try to grind up all the experience. So that we can get to the point where we can make uh, the stackable habitat. And then maybe even the lab. But next time we're going to head over to the Osiris 1 base. Oh hello. This is a ferocious one. He was the very ferocious. Um, <laughs> what did he drop? Not very much. Okay. But uh, yeah, so we now have the ability to make bandages. It was probably on the printer. Let's check this out. Oh my goodness. Two per of those. So, I don't think we're really going to get into making these things, the, um, the plastic or anything, until we have a vehicle. Because the vehicle is going to allow us to just load up on those tanks, fill our inventory with them, and just get a ton of fuels or gases. That said, uh, we're kind of not even close to a place where we can get actual fuel. So we might have to put fuel depots around the world, as it were, so that we can refuel no matter where we're at. Uh, that would mean the ability to uh, make them, which would be a chem station, and then uh, the actual fuel depot itself. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions or want to do any multiplayer or want to see me do a permadeath version of this game where I'm playing on extreme mode or anything, please let me know. But anyway, guys, this is Cypher Deck. Peace out.